All right, good morning, y'all. It is day six. Um, our spring break vacation. We're actually about to check out of the hotel. It's about 9.30, child. And checkout time is, oh, it's at 12. I don't know why I thought it was 11, but it's at 12. So we, um, how do I, let me check my email to be sure. Okay, so yes, it is 12 o'clock. It do say 11 in my email, but I just asked one of the, oh Lord, don't break that. <laughs> but I just asked one of the housekeepers. Okay. Um, so yes, it is 12 o'clock. I just asked one of the housekeepers and yes, it is 12 o'clock. So we got a little bit more time than I thought, but still, I still need to hurry up and get this done. Because one of the things that I hate is rushing to pack to leave a hotel as well. It always seems to take a long time. We was going to pack overnight. But let me tell, let me tell y'all what August had the nerve to do last night. Would not go to sleep. Everybody else had cooperated. Well, I ain't going to say everybody else had cooperated. But, I did. Um, it still, it wasn't as bad as before the other mornings, but it still was bad, Okay. And um, while the other two had finally went to sleep, August stayed up and kept me up till 3.30, probably even 3.45 in the freaking morning. I ain't getting no sleep. I missed the alarm this morning and we was late going down for breakfast. Breakfast over at nine, but I got up at 8.35. So I had Aiden brush his teeth, run down and start making our plates. And I told him I would just meet him down there at the tables. When I came down there, Aiden had me a plate full of stuff that I do not even eat. And, I mean, I went up there and got what I wanted, but it was just a big help to know that, you know, he had secured some food. At least he knew what the kids was going to eat. And <laughs> and they had some stuff down there. So, that's how the morning went for breakfast. All right, so we got to pack it up. Loading up, rather. Um... It was stressful getting all this stuff done because a lot of stuff, we, we didn't get a lot of stuff done last night. So it was like after breakfast, we had to come straight in, start doing all of this stuff. And now I'm a lot of breath. It's just, it's been a lot, it's been a lot, but we made it, we made it. It's like 12, 25, so we're like 25 minutes late, but they said there's no extra charge for coming, you know, leaving out a couple minutes late or whatever. So that's cool. Wine pants is back there. Yeah, I got on my blue set today. It's called A Soul. This is by Paired by Allison Alana. But y'all, the shorts are kind of a little shorter than I remember them being last year. I don't know if I gained a couple of pounds back or something. I might got to buy like a little jacket or maybe tie my big denim jacket around my waist because it's kind of, it's peaking a little bit. It's a little peak and I don't really play like that. So. <laughs> Gotta, and this is a size of medium, so I'm just like, okay, what's happening here? <laughs> Aiden went in the gas station to get us some gas and um, some cold drinks. I should have just told him to get me a Did you get me a juice? Yeah. I want a water now. It's too hot. Oh, you wanted the water? Yeah, so I can see you can swap me all the water. Oh, I got your, your point of yeah, I still want some water. I'm I'm like that thirsty where nothing will do but water at this point. Just run in there and swap it out. Can we just get a pizza? A pizza? You ready for lunch already? Uh -huh. Okay, fatty. Had I know you wanted lunch already, I wouldn't have bought the juices from the gas station. As a single mom of four and my youngest being just two years old, I know firsthand how busy we get and how time just seems to fly by. Between feeding, diaper changing, pull-up changing, potty training, working and maintaining my home, I never seem to have time for myself. I remember when my youngest was first born, I'd wish somebody would just come over and take the baby so I could do simple things like shampoo my hair or even just eat a meal. But that never happened for me. It was hard and I had no time to myself, let alone time to put together nice outfits. I just throw on whatever was clean and then go do whatever I had to go do. This is why I created Paired, a place where single moms with limited time can still look amazing. We offer different sets for many different occasions, making it easy to access whatever you need and to get going because your time is very limited. Most importantly at Paired, 
We want women to take care of themselves and not compromise who they are as a woman to be a mom. Cause you don't have to choose, you can do both. Lastly, I want you to always remember that you are important and that you matter. So go ahead, head over to www.shopair.com. Yeah, Mom, is my Come on, Augie Bear. Mama, is my driver's license in the middle yet? Is your driver's license? You got to take your test, Ace, and then you can go. So we are at the Big Air Trampoline Park for day six, our last and final day here in Charlotte, North Carolina. So we're going to go ahead and let the boys bop around, jump around, dance around, flip around, whatever it is that they offer in here. I've never been to a trampoline park before. With my kids, I always see like people, um, you know, on Facebook or whatever, they do it in their stories and stuff like that. So this will be our like first book experience here. Um, so let's see what they got. Look at Scaredy Cat, won't go over there and jump. Going over there now. Look at Ace inside the TV, y'all. So here's Ace continuously jumping, y'all. He was obsessed with this game. The fact that he could see himself inside the TV screen was just more than enough for him. Like, look at him on there jumping on the little blocks. <laughs> As soon as he jumps on that thing, he literally just flies into the TV. It's it's so cute. Um, he was obsessed, and I think he was a fan favorite for a lot of other um, kids as well because a lot of them was coming over there. Um, so you can do a one or two player, but it was only on one player. So Aiden was trying to do his, and they go to, you can see them fighting through the screen because Ace would, could not get enough of that dang old game. He just don't really believe in others taking turns. Oh, Ace ducking. He not jumping. Ada jumping. <laughs> so this game, you had to avoid bitten, being hit by like this propeller thing. And you can either jump or um, duck. So Ace was doing mo mostly ducking. Um, it was so fun to watch um, them do this. Here comes August, the vlogger, coming to do his voiceover as well. Because this is really his channel, not mine. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the kids was having a lot of fun. It it goes um, clockwise and counterclockwise, so you gotta just be prepared to get it whenever it's coming. Hey, Aiden ain't last two seconds on this thing. And there's the lovely Ace, my darling son, going over to intervene in somebody else's turn again while they try to play basketball. <laughs> yeah, so I walked them back over here. You want to be the hero and treat your jumper to the most awesomest, <laughs> bestest birthday party try. ever? We can take the Now Ace getting a slow ride. Then they moved over to this little obstacle course type thing. They got Augie just kind of bopping around, looking for stuff to stand on, climb on, <laughs> run on. You know, he just kind of be doing his own little thing. He don't really care to be kicking it with what the gang doing a lot. Sometimes he do, but he he do him, you know. Um, yeah. This game is kind of similar to what they had was doing at Frankie's yesterday. So, um I kind of wanted him to get off of that and do some of the other activities because he will he will play them games all day and night. So I noticed this little thing right here. I wasn't really sure how to get in. I know that side said exit, so I thought you couldn't come in, but you could really do either or um, come in and go in. So I don't know what was the point of putting this on there. So um, they at first I was really confused about what this um, was, but then after a while I kind of figured... Um, that it was something regarding like lasers or whatever. This game in here looked really cool, but I don't think Ace really know how to do it. August this is a to go totally bad idea. Watch out, August. So Ace figured this game out kind of quickly. Um, so basically, it's kind of like laser tag without the gun. The lasers is just kind of like shooting at you on their own, and you got to avoid being shot.
Uh, some type of laser. So we only got about 20 minutes left here. So I'm gonna see um, if Ada wanna come in here. So now I'm just looking around for Aiden. I don't know where he went off to. There's so many different places for him to be. So <laughs> we just walking around and looking. <laughs> then they decided that they wanted to um, go in this pit thing. So you climb up the ladder and you kind of just jump down in there. Um, they had a really good time doing this. I just wanted to climb the ladder and jump in here so bad. But I told him he needed to wake up from his dreams and his fantasies. Because I'm not letting his little tail get up here and jump. I mean, I'm not I'm not really one to limit them when they're like fearless, but I just didn't think that was a good idea. <laughs> Ooh, child. That place wore me out and I wasn't even the one doing nothing. I bullied several kids. They was all coming from all sides and I and I pushed one that way. Pushing up in the air, I even slammed one. Oh, when you was doing a little air. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really wild in there. The music is on. I I can only do an hour with that. I really keep people flying, spinning, jumping, throwing. But I mean, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. They had a really good time though. They had a really good time. Um, but I just could. Ace wanted to eat in there, but I just couldn't do it with the loud music, the screaming, the yelling. Like I just want to go sit down. It's a Popeyes. That I noticed across the street when I was coming um, up this way. So I'm gonna just go over there and sit there. Strap him in, please. Okay, so at Popeye's having lunch. And this time. Mama, Lisa is cooling. Hold on, she don't have to wait a second. This time I ordered a family style eight piece meal. <laughs> so we wouldn't be left with 45 pieces of this. <laughs> yeah. I know they be giving you big crust and stuff in here. So this should handle us over till we get, we get back. <coughs> we got these frozen strawberry lemonades. Wow, they're pretty good. Really good. <laughs> Mama, Lisa, it's cooling. Hi, Fatty. <laughs> See, when Fatty eat, he don't even hear you talking. <laughs> Love you, Fatty. All right, back in the car. August is doing him per usual. Um, food was good. Food was good. Uh, frozen lemonade was bomb. If you haven't tried it, try it because I do approve. And um, yeah, that's going to be a wrap, guys, for day six of our spring break vacation. I hope you guys enjoyed watching all the videos and that you um, lived vicar vicariously through my kids because they were. I wish I could have captured every second because they were having the time of their life. They had a ball. Uh, Ace being number one, I mean, he just was haywire. He had the best time of his entire life. He's just all over the place having a good time. And I just am so thankful for those memories. I thank God for those memories because they're going to be talking about this 10, 15 years from now. They had such a great time. So thank you all for watching. And I will see y'all in the next video. Later, alligators. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Say bye, Augie. Bye. Peace.